what's up everyone so i'm back again with another video so in this video we're talking about month seven as you can see on the screen there's so much to talk about and um without further ado let's just get into it so in the previous we looked at uh what we saw in month six now it's in month seven we saw in month six you had a web stack debugging zero so the web stack debugging continues it's a devops thing you have to know how to use docker containers you do it locally so I'm not just gonna get into that because that's just like a whole other like thing. So it's uh it's mostly it's a DevOps project, so you have to understand like um how to like you know use the Docker containers to solve that given problem that you've given. Then the Airbnb clone comes back. Uh, the previous one we looked at the Airbnb MySQL, uh, and it actually it was pretty interesting because right now at that time you're just building up on that. So in the MySQL, I did, forgot to mention, you're giving someone else's code. In the console, you're not going to use the console code that you made. You're giving another code base. You have to debug it. You have to test it. And you have to, like, you know, add the features that you need. In the deploy static, um, you already created, like, the web static in month five. Uh, just after you did the MySQL, uh, the Airbnb clone, you did the, MyMB, my, the Airbnb uh, web static so at this point you're just taking that static and you're putting it in that server so it's a whole other <laughs> it's a whole other see, pro process that is actually quite interesting and when you follow it through uh to the end the servers that you created like when you're working on the load balancer you're given like two servers on the server one and server two, you're supposed to like deploy them both in there. And given the instruction that you've been given, it will direct you to like how to properly do it. But at this point, they don't give you like a lot to work with, so that they expect you to like um do a bit of like uh, digging on your own to be able to do it. So yeah, deploy static is actually quite interesting because when you log in to that IP address and you go to that file, you will see. Uh, not even that IP address. You're given like a domain name. So let's say, for example, mine was devnderitu.tech, then slash, let's say, hbnb static. Right? Then there's file name. When you click that on put it in the URL, you're able to see like the page being rendered there. So yeah. So that's when you know like you have succeeded in that task then. And uh, my least favorite is the HTTP SSL. Uh, this is just to create an SSL certificate. You see that padlock that is always when you like put in the URL. You see that there's a padlock there showing that this uh, this site is secure. That makes like the site secure. So you're supposed to generate it in Satbot. This is actually a project that uh, gave me sleepless nights, and it's a very, he had a very short deadline, and it was not as straightforward as you might think. So. Uh, it gave me some problems, but at the end, I was able to pull through and do it. So it was actually a quite challenging one. And I just put it amongst the challenging projects that I've seen, especially. I put it alongside the binary trees. I don't want to put it against Simple Shell because Simple Shell was just another beast on its own. And as as even as far as I'm concerned, I feel like this one was not as direct as you might think. And... If you if you're not if you don't approach it like in a, an open minded way and look at how to set it up, you're going to waste a lot of time. So yeah, and they and, and they only give you like uh, first hour, first deadline is in twenty four hours, second deadline is in twenty four. So after that, it's that it's game over. So yeah, I mean <laughs> it was quite tough. And the only thing that helped me in doing this project was collaborating with guys. I was able to like reach out to a guy who was able who was able to do it, and I just followed it through. So yeah. Then you've got C search algorithms. At this point, um, the C projects are are this is the last C project in like um uh, you're going to do in uh, the ALX foundations because majority of it you did you did a lot of um, fundamentals in C in Sprint one. You implemented the that the algorithms in Sprint two, and this is just the last one that they just stretched out here. So. It becomes a bit easier because you they they assume that you're able to like get a firm footing on C. So yeah, then you're given um a blog. You write what happens when you type Google in your browser and press enter. So this is a blog that you write and you post it. Then you have a then you have like a peer review it. Then when it came to firewalls. I mean um this is just dealing with servers. You set up the firewall on the load balancer. It's um. 
it's something that it's another project that you really really don't want to mess around with because it can cost you like the whole project because personally i made a mistake um doing it and it costed me like the whole project so i had to go back to month six to do all the configuration management ssh web server load balance i had to do everything from the start so in the servers there's no do over it's not like you can just hit and undo because if you make a mistake you can lock yourself out of the server that's what i did actually when you put a firewall then you don't follow like the right procedure you can might you can end up like locking yourself out of the server so you don't want that to happen to you so yeah it's not a good thing so you have to be very careful then we've got website debugging too this is just picking up this is another like um devops project docker containers again then you're gonna learn some mysql in there i mean um this is not like um advanced mysql i can say you're given like a uh, sql projects you're given like a, a a brief like view on how to look at sql then we have the airbnb clone web framework this is where you learn like um, how to code the backend uh, use this this one you're gonna use flask to do it and it actually is very it's actually very fun to do and it, it, it kind of helps you like understand how to do like business logic in there then you have the api project you're given like an api you consume the api and you know how to do like get the get in post requests uh, it's actually fairly simple and uh, it's actually simple and interesting to do so airbnb web framework is actually another this uh, that's a project that you really really need to like um take a lot of seriousness in doing it then you've got the uh, javascript web framework uh web scrapping so you just uh you, this it's a project that's fairly simple to do i'm not going to get into into details but uh, i just want to mention that it's a project that can be challenging if you don't approach it in the right mindset then we've got the airbnb clone restful framework restful api so this is just this just piggybacks on uh the web framework concepts and at least retrieving data from the database uh using like um using like some business logic when you run it is able to like give you use get and post requests but mostly you're using get requests in this one so that you can be able to like get like um data that you've requested in it just fetches the resources like let's say the data if you're asking it to give you like cities states it gives you back so it helps in like understanding how rest api works because this project actually really helped me in understanding what how restful apis work and it forms the foundation of uh everything that i need to know when it deals with, when you come to back and then then the the magic starts the research and project approval so in the when you reach the almost the final month you have to like uh come up with your own project that you're gonna you're going to do and present it to the alx uh, software engineers so this is the first part you have to like do some research on what you're gonna do and you're going to submit it so that the, so that you can uh, have like a peer review and this is forms like the basis of the project that you're going to do you can opt to choose your own project but if you are not able to choose your own project alx provides a default project called the maze project so you have to like create like a, a maze that works given like the given like the functionalities they have stipulated so if you don't have a project you can just do the default one so yeah, at least they got you covered there. Then you've got JavaScript Web jQuery. This is another interesting thing. I'm not going to get into much into that. Then the last uh, project on Airbnb clone is uh, the Web Dynamic. So this is just dealing with some JavaScript in there. Piggyback, you just piggyback on the Web jQuery projects and uh, the Web Dynamic on Airbnb clone. This is the last project you're going to do in Airbnb clone, and uh, it just marks the end. So it's just just a lot learn a lot we have learned a lot of concepts in month seven that are actually quite important it's like they put them all together month six you could see like there's not much to you there's there's not like a lot of concepts like this but it's it's tough it's tough and especially when you come in back to back to back i mean <laughs> you're just throwing in back to back projects but at this point you're already used to that and the research and project approval part one will just continue as the final month you'll just be concluding on like a bit of like um like a few projects in there for servers you're gonna end there then you just focus on like the one project that you're going to present to alx so 
you, with that, um, you just covers month seven. Then you just do that evaluation, covers month seven in there, and that's just about it. So tell me what you think in the comments section on what you see about um, the ALX month seven. And I mean, this is that this time you're just way deep. This is like month eight. So you're, <laughs> you're so deep, you're almost in the finish line. And by this time, you'll be able to learn so much when it comes to like um, software engineering in foundation. So, yeah, if you guys like the video, like the video, make sure to leave your feedback down in the comments section down below and what you think about um, these foundations, what you think about month seven, because everything just gets on quite interesting. And uh, I'm out. Peace.